As we approach the trailer to load an animal, you have to consider a couple of things. One is footing for that animal, the elevation of that trailer. The higher it is, the more likely the animal is going to have to jump to get in it. So you'd like to have your loading area as close to the ground as possible. You also want to make sure that when you start up in the trailer, that animal doesn't jump and get you down in the trailer where they can step on you. Step up in the trailer before the animal, and then as you start to come, you lead the animal to the back of the trailer. Don't try to force them, rush them. If they won't step into that area, you need to reposition the trailer to get a lower area to work from. Depending on the type of trailer you have, really influences where you'd need to tie those animals. A bumper pull trailer, you need to have the heaviest weight distribution in front of the axles and not behind the axles. Because you put your equipment in the front, tie the cattle in the back of the trailer, your weight distribution is normally wrong. So you have to be very cautious about that. That causes a whipping action as they go down the road. If those animals shift, it causes you to lose control of the vehicle. So for hauling multiple animals, we'd put the older, bigger animals in the front put the smaller animals toward the back of the trailer. If you want to stand the entire trip, you want to tie them up high, tie them just as you would in any other setting with a slip knot to where you can get them loose. As you walk out, you want to make sure they're not able to kick you and step away from the animals very quietly. If you're putting multiple animals in here, once again, as you go back into the trailer, you'd want to make, be aware that that other animal could also kick you as you lead another animal into that trailer. Another potential concern you have in safety is, notice this heifer's not looking at me as I've entered the trailer. I want to make sure she's aware I'm here, she can see me out of this eye before I approach her to untie her. I'd like for her to step away from me a little bit, have that knot where you can untie her very quickly and easily. Try to turn the animal where they will not step on your feet. This animal's gonna be very prone to jump off that trailer. So this is where I like to get out Hold them as far away from me as I can. And then try to keep that pull away from you and let it be very slow as they come off the trailer. Another area of concern where we can get injured in a trailer is around the gates on a trailer, whether it be the cut gate in the middle, separating animals within the trailer, or the back gate as you're closing it. If an animal happens to back up into that gate, it'll spring back towards you. You always want to make sure you get it closed as quick as you can once you've loaded animals, but stand to the side. Make sure the latches latch correctly on the top and bottom on this type gate. Secure that latch as well to where it can't open. And it's always best to leave with a clip in this particular latch as well. Some people put locks on them. If you happen to get in a wreck and you're incapacitated and people need to get your livestock out and this is locked, they have to wait to cut the lock off. So when traveling down the road, I'd put a snap on it. One area that we don't think about a lot in time as far as safety goes is in the actual process of hooking up to a trailer, transporting livestock to and from shows or just moving them from one location to another. You hear of instances where parents will actually back over their own children because that kid is too close to the back of the pickup trying to guide them in. Always stand to the side where they can clearly see you in their mirrors. If you need to step in to look, make sure alignment's okay, stop them, make sure they put it in park and then step in behind to see how the alignment's going. On a bumper pull, they can actually match up and bump if they turn too short. And so you have to be careful that nobody ever gets back here and rides on the bumper of a pickup that has a bumper pull trailer because there is another pinch point there, risk of falling off and getting under the trailer and being run over by the trailer.